not enough games with dinosaurs in them. There never have been. But even among the ones that have been made, very few of them actually let you be the dinosaurs. One of the few that I can think of that allowed for this was the DOS game Designosaurus 2. Not only could you be dinosaurs, but you could be your dinosaur. You choose the head, the arms, the body, the tail. Tailor your beast to your liking. This is actually one of the oldest games I've played that gives you the freedom to create a character and play as them. It kind of sucked that all your dinosaurs had to be green, but it was perfect for elementary school Nick to waste hours away making nonsensical creatures. So why are you creating dinosaurs in the first place? Well, you see, there's this mad scientist named Dr. Max von Fusion whose evil plan you're supposed to stop. But when that plan is to create the ultimate dinosaur that can survive in any climate and call it the Gigantodon, well, heck, that sounds awesome. I want to be on that guy's team. But no, you have to send your own dinosaur to different eras and gather all the gene prints that he scattered through time. It's tedious and it's not fun, and on top of all that, the best I had was the ferocious Derpasaurus. Having to take care of your dinosaur only makes it worse. While on the blueprint finding mission, your health, energy, food, and water meters all are constantly depleting. If any of them get too low, you're taken back to the laboratory, thanked for your efforts, and basically given a game over. You'll eat plants if you're a herbivore, murder other dinosaurs, and eat their corpses if you're a carnivore, and at any time you can lie down and take a nap to replenish your energy. When resting, the game gives you random dinosaur trivia, and that's when it hits you. This game has been an edutainment game all along. Kind of. Usually parents buy edutainment stuff for kids trying to trick them into thinking it's a game, but this game is the kind that kids would get their parents to buy for them, trying to trick them into thinking it's edutainment. Genius! Look, we've put lots of obscure games in the vault, but Designosaurus 2 is one of the few that nobody on the internet seems to know anything about. Heck, it's hard enough looking up anything on Designosaurus 1, so much so that I'm almost convinced it never existed in the first place. And it's not hard to see why nobody remembers these games. I mean, after all, the game itself wasn't really anything truly special, and I imagine it didn't exactly sell truckloads of copies either. But sometimes all the game needs is lots of dinosaurs. And I know that for elementary school Nick, that was more than enough. Oh.